one. Um, Thursday. Right. I've got Thursday and Saturday's videos pretty much interchangeable. So I don't know which way I'm going to, which way around I'm going to do them just yet. Um, they sort of link together, but it, I'll explain in a minute. All right. Okay. Um. As most of you may or may not be aware, um, a YouTube couple were filming a prank and um, something bad happened. Uh, but then again, when you think about the prank that they were doing, it was pretty much inevitable. Um, if you are completely unaware, um, a YouTube couple with a child already and she was pre she's pregnant with a second child. Um, decided to do a prank where they shot a gun at a book and apparently he tested it with a different book and the bullet didn't go all the way through but they used a different book during the prank now when they did the prank the book didn't stop the bullet um obviously i, I can't go into the forensic side of it because i don't know what bullet was used in the one where he showed it that the bullet book would stop the bullet whether it was the same gun, whether it was this different gun or what, I don't know. Um, but they also obviously clearly haven't paid attention to the golden rule of pranks, which is fake them. I'll get further into that in a second. But um, the couple is Mona Lisa Perez and Pedro Ruiz the third. She was 19, he was 22. He was the one that was shot. He died, I think, pretty much immediately. Um, she obviously felt very guilty um, I will pop in uh, tweeting during this video that she sent just before they did the prank um, they shot a 50 caliber desert eagle into a book now being from the UK we don't know a lot about guns I think in the hundreds and hundreds of people I've known in my life possibly thousands I've known three that have ever had access to guns two of which still have access to guns. Um, it is extremely, extremely, extremely hard to get guns in this country. Um, two of the instances involve living on farms, um, so a lot of farms do have guns. Um, it's the nature of the beast, unfortunately. Um, but as with anybody else that owns a gun, they are locked away, you have to have a license, etc. Um, and the other person that I know, which was a friend of mine's dad, she, um, he's, a, he's a completely locked away. The only time they, they get used is at a shooting range. Um, so, in this country we have strict gun laws and guns aren't readily available in this country. Um, neither are gun licences. Um, it's just the way things are. Um, whereas in America, obviously it's different because it is one of the... Um, amendments in the constitution that you have the right to own a gun um, I think in this country you could own a gun I think it was maybe up to the 50s I'm not sure um, let me just double check by that I mean anybody could own a gun like I say you can get them legally but it, there's a lot um, they were made completely illegal were made mostly made illegal in um, 1925 uh, but they were made absolutely, completely and utterly illegal with the exception of very few rare cases that still had them. Um, in 1996, after the Dunblane School Massacre, um, which was the UK's first and only school shooting. Um, so we don't have a lot of guns here in, here in this country. Like I said, in other people that I've known in both York... Um, Lancashire and down south I've only known three that have ever had a gun two that still have have a gun but like I said they are the the circumstances in which you keep a gun in this country are so strict it's it's untrue obviously it's to deter the, the normal you can get them illegally but it's extremely hard and extremely expensive and it's hard to get them into the country as well um so but I was watching the JK guys I'll leave their video up above and um, Bart is 
former military, I think he was a Marine, um, and he owns multiple guns, and so, so do some of the other guys, and Bart's very well versed on guns, and he said that the Desert Eagle is one of the most powerful guns you can get, and doing this type of a prank with a Desert Eagle is tantamount to suicide. It's stupidity, um, in every sense of the word. So, <laughs> um, she she actually put on a Twitter, um, I have the tweet written down, um, me and Pedro are probably going to shoot one of the most dangerous videos ever, his idea not mine. I'll pop the tweet here because I do have a screenshot of it. Um, like I said, he died pretty much immediately. She's faced, she's charged with second degree manslaughter. She faces 10 years in jail, $20,000 fine. Uh, she's released on bail, but as a condition, she's not allowed on her release. She's not allowed to possess or be anywhere near a handgun or any firearm. She's to notify her attorney of her whereabouts, and she also has a GPS monitor. Um, now, I don't like YouTube pranks. Um, I never have. Um, I think the only ones that I've ever been able to tolerate are the small pranks that Jenna and Julian do to each other. Um, some of the prank versus prank pranks, pranks I can get on board with because not all of them are nasty. But a lot of the pranks like the sandpaper, etc. I don't like. Um, um, they've done this because they saw the, the rise of uh, people like Jake Paul who does pranks in his own house um, obviously his whole video thing isn't just pranks but it does involve pranks Prank vs Prank, Fousey, Roman Atwood and obviously Sam Pepper and several others um, they wanted to be famous or should I say YouTube famous uh, which as you guys know I don't like the idea of anyway it goes to people's heads they get to crazy weird and then they don't, they're no longer the person that you originally subscribed to. Um, they wanted a big following. Um, she, they were always trying to find ways of doing things. Um, they didn't also stop and think that if they did this prank, it worked. And then um, they gained subscribers from it. Those subscribers would, would continue to expect that level of pranks going forward, which you wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't if if I was if I was if I was a viewer of th those particular type of pranks, then obviously, yeah. Um, and they also didn't stop to think about the kids. Um, if some if something was to go wrong, it's like um, with the JK guys, they do pranks, they do um, challenges and stuff. Um, but they never use real firearms. The closest thing they use is BB guns or airsoft pallets. Um, but they never use real firearms. Um, I've never seen them use real firearms. Obviously they do own real firearms and they do go to shooting ranges but it isn't shown on the videos all the time especially with the new guidelines you can't show things like that on YouTube. So why they thought they'd be able to get away with it I don't know. It adds to the dangers of certain pranks that happen. Now, we are all aware of the Daddy of Five and the issues that surround the whole Daddy of Five and the pranks that they will pull on the kids and how dangerous it is and how it's affected the kids, etc. Um, those kids will be forever traumatised by what the father and stepmother did, particularly um, Cody and Emma. But this is just like a continuation of that where they they didn't either know of or didn't pay attention to the pri primary thing of a prank in that it is fake uh, which is really surprising to me it's and it's upsetting it's upsetting for me as well uh, because yes i would like more followers but at the end of the day i do my videos i do different videos all the time as you guys are aware i'll do um uh, call out videos once or twice a week i do um a general topic video once or twice a week i do um murder case mondays once a week every two weeks i do well, where are they um and I, I do a fun video with either on my own or, or with the husband on a friday that's my my thing 
if people like me they'll they'll come and watch and they'll watch all my videos if they don't it's fine um it's like at the minute i have somebody keeps coming to my videos disliking my videos and then going <laughs> i have a funny feeling i know who it could possibly be but i'm not going to name any names um but uh, at the end of the day being youtube famous or being social media famous isn't the biggest thing in the world for everybody um the reason being is that everybody thinks it is everybody thinks oh if, I, if i'm youtube famous or um instagram famous or this famous or that famous then i'll i'll have money not necessarily um especially with the way that the ad revenue is on youtube at the minute it's not exactly at the best levels and it's people are always trying to do the easy way or the best way to do things when they don't actually think long run of is this sustainable in the long run so excuse me is this sustainable in the long run or is it something that i'm going to have to do um all the time um all things like that and the fact that this this couple thought that this was a good idea boggles me it really does it it confuses the holy crap out of me um this whole thing of um youtube pranks youtube famous is to me nothing but poison there are people that handle it well um you've got the highest mark applied um yeah there are a few bad stories out there but when you consider the amount of fans that he's got and the amount of people really does meet then you know um but when you look at certain people the, the ones that have stayed the test of time that it's not literally just been a passing fancy so you're talking about mark um pewdiepie jenna marbles people like that who have had a slower rise than say the likes of jake paul but their fans have stayed with them the ones that have had the meteoric rise like with jake paul haven't um after about two, a year or two it's by um so it's one of those things that instances of dangerous pranks are everywhere um like i said there's the diary of five issues and there's foozy issues there's the sand pepper which is the sexist and sexually demeaning pranks which is like the um pinching bums and things like that and they also um killing my best friend prank as well that they did that blew up a couple of years back on youtube now most of those and obviously you've got the roman atwood ones where he um fates killing one of, um, one of his kids and um, put britney through hell and to me doing pranks like that isn't a good thing um not everybody finds pranks funny and it upsets me because this woman has killed the father of well, i think his father of both of her children in the love of her life over a prank over a video um should she have said no of course she should um should she have turned around and said forget it yeah i would have done but that's me um i'm not um at that point in my life where i'm I need that validation that all people around the age between like 16 and 25 have. Um, I'm past that, I'm well past that. Um, but she had children. Um, she had one that was already alive, she, that was running around, that's happy in Lara. And then she was heavily pregnant with the second. And to me, this is upsetting and it's, it's frustrating because all of her prank. Um, it's if anybody wants to do a prank remember the basic rule fake the prank it's the best way to do it um otherwise you end up causing problems like this and you kill the person that you love so right with that being said i'll probably upload this one thursday and then the other one no i think i'll do this one saturday and the other one thursday and then sunday's video is going to be a bit darker um uh, it's not dark as in um horror, horror horrible dark it's just like unusual deaths in hollywood 
So, with that being said, um, stay safe, be good, have fun, and I will see you tomorrow.